Hey, it's JP with Retronyms, and welcome back to IMPC Prologue. Here we take a look at the latest features from the fresh development build of IMPC Pro. If you're new to this series uh, of videos or new to the app in general, I definitely encourage you to check out all the videos in the playlist. Uh, there's a lot of great information here. Uh, and this week is no different. We're going to take a look at interapp audio features in IMPC Pro. Um, this is basically all the different ways you can use IMPC Pro with other apps. Um, we're supporting Apple's free interapp audio standard really extensively in IMPC Pro. And I'm going to show the different ways you can, you can use that in here. So first off, I'm going to show sampling over interapp audio. Uh, so let's take a look. I'm going to, I'm going to load up an empty tr track here and uh, select new sound. Now we're in the sampler. We've looked at the turntable already. Um, today we're going to look at the interapp tab and we'll look at these other tabs uh, at, at another, uh, another time. Um, but basically, interapp audio sampling is very simple. There's just a slot here, an empty slot right now, for loading a third-party app into the sampler. Uh, so I'm going to tap that. And there's a bunch of apps listed here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load up our uh, strike instrument. It's basically a kind of strum pad uh, expressive instrument that's coming soon from Retronyms. Basically very simple. I can just arm the, the sampler. So now it's waiting for input. Um, and then I'll go over to strike and just sort of quickly and tap the MPC icon to head back to MPC. You can see it's recording now. I'll hit stop. And here we have our sound. I can trim it up uh, and, and do what I need to do with it. I'm going to hit retry just to show a slightly different uh, workflow. I have a little beat going here. Very simple. Um, so I'm going to go over to strike. And if I want to play over top of this beat uh, in tempo with it, I need to be able to play it back, basically. So here in strike, and uh, any interapp audio instrument generally has this, there's a little transport up here where I can control uh, IMPC. So I can. Play back my beat, and if I hit record, it's going to arm the sampler again. So basically, I can play in time to the beat I have going. Again, if I head back over to IMPC, it's recording, and now I have my sample. And you know, with the sampler trim step here, I can play back my audio as well. So I'll hit done here, and basically I've got a little uh, a little sample. And I can drag it onto another pad. And um, cue it up. So you can see there's a lot of fun to be had with interapp audio sampling. All right, I'm going to close this project and we can take a look at another uh, technique here. I'm going to load a different demo song. Um, basically, uh, as well as sampling from other apps, we can track or record IMPC Pro into any compatible DAW or audio environment. So if you want to track it into Cubasis, GarageBand, um, you know that kind of stuff, it'll work. You know anything that supports. Uh, recording from an interapp audio uh, instrument generator or otherwise a node. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, GarageBand first. So here you are in GarageBand, and I can just record multiple tracks of pianos and guitars, but also in here is an interapp audio uh, selector. So I'm going to tap that, and you can see all the choices we have. Uh, I'll tap IMPC Pro. And basically now down in IMPC, there's a little interapp audio transport uh, with the GarageBand icon. I can top that, tap that to bounce back to GarageBand, that kind of thing. Um, but very simple, I can just uh, All right, so now uh, 
You can head back to GarageBand and check out my track. And here's my recording that I've made. Uh, basically, uh, I can do what I need to do in GarageBand, trim it up, move it around. And if I want, I can add another track in, select IMPC Pro again, and record another track of audio uh, into GarageBand. Uh... So that's uh, Interrap Audio recording with GarageBand. I'm going to show Cubasis as well. Cubase is another popular multi-track um, app from Steinberg. Um, all right, so basically I'm just going to add a track of audio. And in Cubasis over here, I select the input after adding the track. So here's mono input. I'm going to go ahead and select inner app. And there's a list of inner app audio apps here. I'm going to choose IMC Pro. And you know, in a similar way, if I pop over to IMC Pro now, there's a Cubasis icon. I can tap to head back to Cubasis or control the Cubasis transport here. So similar thing. Okay, so back in Cubasis, you can see our uh, audio here uh, from IMC Pro. Actually, um, I want to show one other kind of just detail about this. Basically, the same thing uh, here in Cubasis. I'll select IMC Pro. And um, we've looked before at how to use uh, interapp effects. So this is the third way you can use interapp audio with IMPC. We've talked about this already in the effects demo, but I'll show it again right here. Basically, I'm going to select this uh, AUFX dub effect here. And uh, let's see here, make sure I have a, a preset loaded up. Get this vibrato preset. So down here, I can you sort of hear like a vibrato effect going. Um, so actually now I have this effect loaded up and same thing, I can record right into Cubasis and it'll get the effect and everything. So now we have audio via Interapp Audio going to uh, Interapp Audio effect app and the audio is being sent back to IMPC Pro and then being tracked into Cubasis. Okay, so that's um, Interapp Audio. Uh, basically, again, we can support Interapp Audio sampling from compatible apps, uh, Interapp Audio recording to your favorite DAW or audio environment, and Interapp Audio effects uh, with third-party effect apps. So IMPC Pro supports Interapp Audio across the board. Definitely a lot of fun to be had there. Uh, the final thing to show in terms of like integration with other apps is of course Tabletop. And Tabletop is our free audio environment for iPad and IMPC Pro is a Tabletop ready app. And what this means is when you buy IMPC Pro on the App Store uh, and then load up Tabletop, for free, you can drop IMPC Pro in Tabletop and use it alongside drum machines, synthesizers, and sequence everything together. Uh, so here's IMPC Pro running inside Tabletop. We have our full-fledged program editor, mixer, and timeline, uh, as well as all of our tracks, uh, FluxLink, and more. And I can drop an original IMPC right next to it, use them together. I can drop in a Arturia iMini uh, synthesizer, uh, or any number of retronyms, drum machine synthesizers, and sequencers to use with IMC Pro, as well as effects, that kind of stuff. So this is a lot of fun uh, to do as well. So there's really no shortage of ways you can use IMPC Pro with other apps on the iPad kind of app ecosystem. Um, so that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, and tune in for more. Make sure to subscribe to Akai Professional and Retronyms to get all the latest details on IMPC Pro. And uh, one last thing, IMPC users, uh, customers of IMPC, definitely uh, we're going to try to do something to hook you guys up when the, this app launches. Uh, so make sure to check the in-app news uh, of, for this post and others about IMC Pro about how to keep your ear to the ground about how we're going to do that. Um, so stay tuned in there as well. All right, thanks a lot. That's it.